You'll see the video and then I'll try to teach you a little bit how to do it afterwards. Alright, so there's what I did for my project, and right now I'm just going to teach you a few of the things. I really didn't use much. All I used was movie clip as a symbol. Those aren't hard to make. I'm going to show you how to do that. I did some motion tweens, like when the guy's running across the field in front of the scoreboard. I'll show you how to do that, and we'll see what else. So for right now, I'm going to show you how to do this um, movie clip with a mouth. So what you want to do is you go up to insert new symbol on this one so insert new symbol movie clip so there's your so to do this mouth what I did click on the line you just draw a mouth at first like either an open mouth or a closed mouth and we're gonna make this a little wider okay there we go so there's your basic mouth then you're want, gonna want to make a new frame and then you can close it or open it or whatever you want to do. So we're just going to, right now we're going to insert, insert keyframe so you can keep this in. <coughs> and um, if you go up here to onion skin, it shows you what you've deleted and it makes it easier so you know how to, where exactly to draw it. It makes it a bunch of, you'll see. So I delete that line and see the line's still there. All those lines are still there. And so this smaller again. We're going to want to, we can actually look and see what it looks like now. And by doing that, you just press Apple Enter. Whoa, wait a second. First, you have to import it. See this? In the library over here. And if that's not there, which it usually isn't, you have to go up to Window, and then press Library. See? Now it's gone, so now I just have to press it again. And then I drag the symbol over into the movie. So, and then if you want to do that, you can press file, or, yeah, Con command, and then enter, and it plays it for you. See, that's right now what it looks like, but that's a little too fast. So you're going to want to make another one, making it slower. So what you do is you click on this, double click, and then insert another new keyframe. Then we're going to have to draw it again. We still have the onion skin, so it shows it up. So you draw it again. And we're going to make it open a lot wider now. There we go. That's wide enough, I think. And then, all the way over. Make the tongue. See, it gets a little uneven, but that's okay. And then, gotta draw it again because sometimes this doesn't work for some reason. Gotta make sure you stay right inside the lines. Now 
I can fill it in. And then we're going to do the black. First we can see if it'll work, but I doubt it will. Yep, it won't, so we have to do this. And fill that in. Do it on the other side. And fill it in. Okay, so now if you want to watch it, go back to scene one. Probably not very good, but we can look how it looks. It's just, see, that's a lot better. It shows, it's not as good as it was on my project, but that's just, I was trying to do that quick for you. So, there you go on that. There's how you do a symbol. That's how you do a movie clip. And now I'm going to show you how to do a simple motion tween. Not like I did in my um, video, how I had the guy running across. But I'm going to show you how to um, do... Just like your name running across the screen. So, get rid of the onion skin. What you do is insert another new symbol, and once again, it's a movie clip. That's okay. And I'm just going to do some random name. So, let's just do Zach. Okay? And then that's, is by itself, that's a symbol right there. So you go back to scene one, then you insert that there. So it needs to be on the outside, so it starts and then it can go across. And then you're going to go, however, if you if you go further, it goes slower. Closer, it goes faster across the screen. But I'm just going to do it about there, and then insert a keyframe. And then that keyframe, you want it to be straight across from where you had it. Except on the opposite side, so that's about even right there. And then you go right in the middle of that, and you control click, and then create motion tween. And now it shows the little arrow across, so you know that it's a motion tween. And I'll show you how this looks. See, it shows it rolling across the screen. And then that just keeps flying. But, yes. Okay, so. I've taught you how to do a movie clip and, well, movie clips, obviously, but a motion tween and like how to do a mouth. And that's basically all I used in my flash, except my, um, the guy running across, I made it, the guy was a symbol and I made his legs moving, so it was a movie clip, and then I put him, like I did with Zach, I put it, I put my guy on the left side. And then I just made a new keyframe, and then I put him exactly over, and then I did the motion tween. So that's about all you have to do with the motion tween. So, um, yeah, that's how you make a flash. Once again, I'm not that experienced, but I tried to teach you a little bit. So, hope you can use this to get better at flash. So, I'll see you later.